guys, how's your beautiful faces doing today? Is Christian or Cookie is good? And I just tended to take you guys for a quick journey to show you all about Tinker's Construct. Let's go back into survival mode for a second so I have my little crafting window that I'm used to having. So if you guys don't know, Tinker's Construct is a mod that allows you to make your own tools and it, it actually helps add into the immersion of regular Minecraft because it lets you do some things that you just kind of well, when you're playing regular Minecraft, you kind of stop and go, well, hey, why can't I do that? That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I made these blank patterns. This is where it all begins. I'm just making a few of the uh, uh, most, most important and early on pieces that you're going to need. That being said, I've got a stencil table, a part builder, and a tool station. I'm going to throw some of these things up in my inventory for the moment because well, I don't need them just yet. So, um... What you're going to do is you're going to put these blank patterns in your stencil table. And you see all these things here that you can make. You can make bows, you can make pickaxes, you can make axes, swords, whatever. But you can make other things as well, which uh, there's ways to learn all about them. And I'll show you some of those as well. But I'm just, I'm just going to show you guys the most basic. I'm going to do a pickaxe. And I'm actually going to make it completely out of wood. And there's a reason for that. Oh, not like that though. <laughs> okay, so put the wood in there, uh, wooden binding, no, it's actually going to stop me there with that, I need a tool rod, I can, you can just use a wooden stick, but for anything else you need to make a tool rod, um, so I, I just decided to make the tool rod anyway, now once I put all that in here and click on the pickaxe pattern, I put my pickaxe head in, my tool rod, and my tool binding, and that gives me a wooden pickaxe. But if you notice here, the wooden pickaxe can actually mine iron. Now I want to notice a few things here. Um, modifiers remaining. Three. What are modifiers? Uh, when you go back into it and you get really good at Tinker's Construct, you can add certain things to a tool. It'll, you know, it, it's what the game considers a modifier, not the game at the mod. I'm going to show you a few of those real quick, but while I do that, I also want some paper. There we go. All right, so if I were to say, well, I'm gonna make this first. Now that's in forge mode. Okay, so if I put a diamond on this, see how it says modifier goes down. Um, the durability increases by 500, and the mining level goes to regular diamond mining level. So that's what a modifier is. It allows you to add things to it that'll change the tool, which makes a lot of sense in some ways. It's something you ought to be able to do in real life, but granted, Minecraft is a game, so creators don't want it like that. That's their choice. Anyway, avo avoiding all that. Now, the redstone, that makes it mine faster. But th that's that's what the modifiers are. Actually help you out quite a bit. Now, the reason I wanted the paper is my favorite kind of modifier in this. And this is just me, but I like to make things out of paper. Reason being is because when you make that same exact tool, Notice 97 durability, mining speed of 3.5, and it mines iron. If I make it with paper, which you'd think might would normally be a, a stupid idea, 97 durability, mining speed 3.5, mining level iron, four modifiers. So while some things, you, you just gotta toy with it and you gotta figure out what works best for you. When I do this, even my best pickaxes I make out of whatever, I will have a paper binding on there just about every time. Um, that being said, now let's let's go ahead and test this out real quick. Uh, I'm gonna need some stone now. Ah, oh, that's gravel. Hang on, just in the interest of saving a little bit of time. There's a little bit of regular stone. Okay, so if I mine it out, no, it's just like a regular wooden pickaxe, maybe a hair faster. Um, so there's that. Now let's see what happens if I were to put a diamond on it and some redstone. Now, notice that for the diamond I only had to use one, but the redstone it's going to make me add five. And that only takes one modifier for all five of those. And by five I mean 50 total. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go this the whole route until I'm out of modifiers. And I think I got five more. Alright, let's try it now. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, much better. Much, much better. And now I can mine things like the copper, which might have been able to before, but I don't think you could have mined the aluminum. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's very much so a direct improvement. And that's what Tinker's Construct is all about, making the best tools, the best things. And now there's an upgrade to this tool station here. It's called a forge. I think it's like two pages over. Uh, the way you craft a forge is going to be... this. A couple blocks of iron, your tool station in the middle, and some seared bricks. Well, how do you make seared bricks? I'm sure you guys know how to do these because I did this one and this is pretty basic. Um, seared bricks are made by, well, seared brick and a two by two. And seared brick you get from smelting grout. Well, what the heck is grout? Um, that's why I have these in my inventory. You combine sand, a clay ball, and gravel, and that'll give you two grout for each one. Um, each grout, when you smelt it in a furnace, will come out to be one brick. And that being said, I, I've got some bricks here just for the sake of expediency. So let's go ahead and put my bricks in here. Um, I'm going to make some just regular seared bricks first. My next smelting. We'll get to the books in a second, guys. The, the books are very helpful at first until you get good at it. Um, there we go. I'm saying I only had one that freaked me out. Now on top of that, I gotta make a few other things as well. Um, I'm gonna give myself a piece of glass. So first thing I'm gonna make is I'm gonna make smelt three controller. And then I'm gonna do that again, put a piece of glass in the middle for a seared tank. Uh, reason I'm doing this is If I were to try and make one of these same items out of something like iron or any other metal, it's not going to let me. I have to do a few things first. So I'm actually going to want a wooden pickaxe head. Um, there's a reason for everything, guys. Don't mind me just cheating my, my butt off here. I told you guys before I, I usually cheat when I play by myself. You're starting to see why. Uh, so anyway. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, just making that. So I'm also gonna want at least one of these a seared faucet, um, as well as uh, actually, well you can make a casting basin. Which because guys, right now what I'm doing is I'm making a forge or not a forge, but a smeltery for my ores. I'm definitely gonna need at least one drain as well. For that, we should be golden. Okay, so I'm gonna place some of these down. Uh, when you're doing the base of this, you're going to need a 3x3 three three at least. I think you can do bigger. Never tried to, so um, don't quote me on that, but I believe you can. And on top of that, actually, I'm going to need some more. Okay. Anyway. In the water. Alright. Okay, now this is where I'm going to start placing the good stuff. There's a drain here. I um, actually want to place the tank here. By the way, this tank, when you put liquids in it, you can move it around, just so you know. That's something I didn't know for a long time. I'm going to put the faucet on the end of the drain, and I'm going to put my casting table underneath. You can also make something called a casting basin, and that's for when you have metals in here. You can pour it out into a full block, just for the... So otherwise, you'd have to do it ingot by ingot, and that would suck. Good. Let's hope this works. Oh, let's... Well, that was uh, certainly awkward. But anyway. Okay, it holds up the four buckets of lava. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gold in here. So you have two gold ore. And there's something very cool about this. Um, there, there is a very good reason to make this, even if you don't want to do the Tinker's Construct. When you smelt ores in here, you get double the output. So these two gold ores are going to give me four ingots. Which, hey, I'll take it. Why not? 
There's a reason I put gold in here, though. There's two materials you have to make a cast with. You can either use gold or aluminum brass. Uh, aluminum brass is made with copper and uh, aluminum, by the way. But uh, I've got the gold in there because I like gold. So if I pour the gold on top of this pickaxe head, which I just placed onto the casting table. Hey, look at that. I've got a, a pickaxe head cast. So now, I don't know if you can make it out of aluminum, but I don't intend to. I'm going to smelt this iron and get down. And I'm actually going to throw that throw this way. Throw, throw all the things away, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to keep that just to show you the difference um, while we're waiting for that to smelt down. So the difference in these tables. This is everything that can be made using this particular one with the tool station. And th this is your basic. When you make the tool forge, you can make all of these. Uh, things like the longbow is going to do more damage. Um, the hammer mines out a 3x3 three three area in front of you. So it's much, much better than a pickaxe when you're trying to go strip mining. Uh, the scythe does 3x3 three three area of damage in front of you. So when you're in like a dungeon and there's 10 mobs right in your face. So yeah, there are definite advantages. Uh, and mountain. That's another thing to be careful of when you do this, guys. Um, certain ores combine together. My iron just combined with my gold to make Angmalin. Which, it's not terrible. But um, I'd rather not have my iron or my gold combined, personally. But now, I'm gonna, oh, and I'm going to need a tool binder. But hey, I've got a paper one. Let's go ahead and do that. And now I've got a much better pickaxe combined redstone. 300 durability. Four modifiers, beautiful. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the idea behind Tinker's Construct. You can make completely better tools, you, you get double the ores once you start doing it right. And there, there's a lot of extra cool things that you, you can do. Like for example, me. Let, let me find a lava crystal real quick. This is probably my personal favorite because it's something that I haven't seen in any other mods. I mean, what it does is when you find like an ore here, you can mine it out and it'll become an ingot. But it gets better than that. If you were to put uh, 50 blocks worth of lapis on this, that'll give you the equivalent of looting three, which will work on these ores now. So you can get up to four ingots per ore. That's not a guarantee, it's gambling. I actually prefer to put them in the smeltery, but otherwise, it's a very effective method. You, there's all sorts of cool things and modifiers and things you can do to your tools. Uh, you might be saying, well, Christian, well, you might know all that, but how on, how on earth am I going to learn? And that's where these books come in. They tell you different materials, tools, everything. It tells you what the tools are, what the materials are. The materials have different traits, obviously, as you've seen before. Uh, stone, durability 131. Iron, durability 250. That's if you make the whole tool out of it, by the way. And then if you get down to the end here, um, it, it adds some more metals, by the way. Um, cobalt is one of the best, as well as manulin. Um, anyway, diamond, 500 extra durability, mining level to 3. Emerald, plus 50% more durability, mining level increased to level 2, whatever that is. Uh, so yeah, these books are actually the secret to it. This is how you make... Oh, ball of moss. That makes your weapon repair itself over time. If you don't have a tool with huge amount of durability, I always use that. Always. A lapis is luck. Quartz gives you sharpness. Uh, fired aspect is the blaze powder. Necrotic bones is dropped by wither skeletons. So yeah, they're, they're, just read through the books, guys. Honestly, I, I know it's a pain in the butt at first, but it's well worth it. And those alloys, those metals and things. It's going to tell you the most basic ones here, but if you run in a big mod pack like I am right now, this is the Mayanite mod pack, um, there's going to be some extra Tinker's Construct stuff involved, so you might have to do your own research on that. I'm, I'm no expert, I just have a pretty basic knowledge I'd like to share with you guys on this. But yeah, um, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and you guys have yourselves a great day, and go tinker me something beautiful. See you next time. Bye-bye.